What vitamins do you take? It's just the simple vitamins and minerals that you can get on the market. Mm -hmm. Sometimes sponsors give you vitamins, <laughs> so I take them. Yeah, 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 true. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I, I eat some they sponsored buy? vitamins mm. a lot. Yeah. Um, is Call there the any thing. specifics that you need every day? Like, for me, I mm -hmm. always have my vitamin D tincture, mm -hmm. fish oil. Mm -hmm. I think for that's... For omega-3 fatty acids. Yeah, I think that's super crucial. Mm -hmm. Um, and magnesium, mm -hmm. just for that's electrolytes, uh -huh. basically, yeah. just to prevent cramping. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those are be, like my three main ones. Yeah. I'd say. Uh, what I what 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 I actually take is um, uh, is a product from from some companies. Then, mm -hmm. so I just I don't want to name names, mm -hmm. but uh, I take this pair, and then uh, it's good for the day. Okay. Uh, it's uh it's vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants in one. So that's it. Vitamin A, D, E, K. Yeah, also have your concoction of, of yeah, magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin, uh, vitamin C, vitamin B, and then a lot of uh, antioxidants in one capsule. What do you think is the number one most important vitamin Filipinos should be taking? Right now, it's vitamin C and zinc. Dude, that is crazy, <laughs> vitamin C, because vitamin mm. C is in everything. Yeah. It's in every fruit. Mm -hmm. It's in almost every vegetable. Yes. It's even in unhealthy drinks, yes. like all the fruit drinks. It is. So I don't understand why Filipinos need to take vitamin C. Because they don't eat their fruits. They don't eat vegetables. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. But they if don't... You, if geez. you are if you are eating your fruits and vegetables, you don't need them. But I feel like Filipinos drink fruit juices as well. Mm -hmm. and, and they are full of sugars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're also at, have added vitamin C. Do you know if mm -hmm. that added vitamin C is the same as vitamin C you get through fruit and vegetables? No. Or it's, no. it's hard for your body to absorb? It's something. harder for your body to absorb because your vitamin C right there can be having troubles then kasi with fighting off the inflammation that that fruit juice is giving you. Okay. So it just gets used up. Wow. There you go. <laughs> vitamin C and zinc, guys. Vitamin C and zinc. Make sure you get it. Mm -hmm. Crystal Dawn Catolo asks, Bano naka immune si mam nakasama mo sa house COVID. So this is referring to Shavino over oh, here. Okay. Who who has been all around COVID. My mom had mm -hmm. COVID. She coughs all over Shavina. Mm -hmm. And Shavina just always tests negative no matter how much COVID she's around. And this was before she was vaccinated mm -hmm. on top of that. Mm -hmm. And in the three years I've known her, she's never got sick. Like she's mm -hmm. never even got the flu. <laughs> How do you explain these like superhuman EBS mm -hmm. people <laughs> like Shavina, who's just like she can survive a nuclear mm -hmm. warhead? It seems like. Well, a lot of factors. Eh, uh, why she didn't get the sickness. So maybe her antibodies are way up before before she got into the uh, into the work. Maybe she has a lot of exposures to a lot of viruses <laughs> than before. Diba? So, so maraming factors eh. Plus, her immunity, siguro kinakain niya doon kung saan man siya galing. Plus, the fact na baka malakas lang talaga yung resistensya niya. It's crazy too because she doesn't mm. eat healthy food. Or, maaaring nagkaroon siya ng COVID na hindi lang talaga na-detect. Because remember that your PCR, or your, your, uh, the testing, mm -hmm. your RT-PCR, it has a limit. It has a threshold. This threshold means that if this viral load hits this one, I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you that it's positive. But if does if it doesn't hit this one, it's it's going to be negative. So for example, ang threshold is 20. Mm -hmm. Para magkaroon ng positive result, eh yung kanya 19, so negative lang. But but that's but that's uh, one uh, one fart away to being positive. So maaari na nagkaroon siya na hindi lang naramdaman ng katawan niya. Pero Meron siya nung virus na yun, but the viral load is not enough for a positive test. And it's not enough to affect her. And it's not, not enough to affect her. Her mental state, her yep. health. Mm -hmm. A couple years back, she was overweight mm -hmm. as well. And still, being overweight, not having a healthy mm -hmm. diet. Hindi ka get exercise din, no? Oh, ba? <laughs> so, so she's doing everything that you shouldn't be doing, yeah. basically, but still mm -hmm. never got sick, mm -hmm. perfect health. Yeah, marami naman ganun eh. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> Ako naman. I do everything. The sleep, the diet, the fitness, mm. everything. And I, you know, yeah. I got diagnosed with cancer, right? Mm. It seems like that happens. Mm. Plus, uh, meron kasing mga articles ngayon na lumalabas. It's not yet verified, but there are mutations in the, in the human bodies then kasi. Yeah. So, it's not yet verified, but uh, just 
a word of caution na meron ganun. If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasovich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.